Fair for your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. Abun them all, you tack your place, tripe, pace, and therm. Weel are you worthy o a grace as langs my arm. The groaning trencher there you fell, your heart is like a distant hell. Your pen would help to mend a mill in time of need. While through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. See, rustic knife <laughs> with labor dish and cut you up. We're ready slicked, trenching your gushing entrails bright like any ditch. What a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Then, horn for horn, they stress and strive. Deal tack the hindmost on the drive till all their wally bells belive like bent like drums. Till old goodman may light to drive. Be uh. <laughs> <laughs> thank it comes. Is there, is there, or his French ragout, or oleo, that would stow a sou, or fricassee, that make you spew with perfect scunner, looks down with sneering scornful view on such a dinner? Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rush, his spindly shanks a good whip, his neve a knit. Through bloody flood and field to dash, oh, how unfit. But, <laughs> mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth receives his tread. In clap into his wally neve a blade. <laughs> He'll make it whistle. <laughs> and legs and arms and heads will sned like on a thistle. <laughs> Ye gods will make mankind your care and gi us all our bill of fare. Old Scotland wants no skanking wear that jumps and luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, gee her a haggis. <laughs> ladies, ladies, the haggis. There we go. Be sure you include the haggis in your diet tonight. It's low fat. He's got to pipe it out. Yeah.